is a non uh, conservancy where we have uh, several programs. One of them we have tourism and another one we have livestock uh, program or cow program. And we don't have cows just for normal or for prestige or for anything for pastoralism, but we are using them as a tractor. We are using them as climate change adaptation and mitigation tool. Why we call them a, a tractor? You normally get your tractor to till land. We do not want to get a tractor, they are not a normal tractor, but we are using our cows uh, for land tilling. Anytime we see a bare land, we put our bom a mobile bombers there in that bare land so that cows can stay there for two or three days, uh, depending on what season are we at. For instance, when they are uh, in the rainy season, you find that we move bombers every night. Why we move bombers every night is because we would like, we wouldn't like to have that concentration of dung, urine, uh, in, in, in that area because now that one turned to one of, uh, may produce methane which is one of the heaviest uh, greenhouse gases. So we move these bombers for several uh, fa factors. One is to cure or to finish up their land and also to ensure that we get regenerative grass uh, because any time you live there maybe in two or three months you find that because of that tilling by cows using their hoofs and at the same time putting urine and dung, they make that land or soil, soil a little bit softer and the seed underground will get an opportunity to uh, regenerate, regenerate and at the same time when that seed is germinated it becomes a very good grass and very healthy and very uh, nutritious and that is a mitigation uh, factor because now you all know that all uh, plants work as what we call carbon sink and so when new grass grow they also uh, uh, pull down uh, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases from the atmosphere into the ground and they store under the ground and why we do this grazing it's because if we keep animals biting or remaining in one place they bite the grass and the moment the grass is beaten from up until it is low also the root come up the the, 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 the shorter the grass the shorter the root the longer the grass the the longer the, the, the root because of, the, of this nutrient, when it is a shorter, a little bit shorter, or um, moderately shorter, the nutrient is very high. And at the same time, it gets an opportunity to store carbon or remove carbon or sequester carbon from the atmosphere down into uh, uh, to the, to the, uh, to the root and uh, under the soil. So both uh, uh, this shrub, uh, the big trees, and also uh, this small plant they help us to sequence uh, uh, carbon, uh, mono, uh, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Our cows here are also an adaptive uh, uh, measure because now we have, using the uh, uh, good grazing plan, we do not have, uh, uh, we do not lose grass. We get what we call very high for, uh, uh, forage or grass bank and therefore we, our livestock we are always healthy, we do not have high mortality because of drought and because of that, uh, because of that uh, good grazing, um, management grazing, uh, it has worked as uh, an adaptive uh, measure.